Once the user has filled in the order form and they have selected their payment method, what we now want to do is actually capture that payment uh, on the back end. So this is really straightforward to do as well. So we have all of our configuration set up. Remember over in our bootstrap file, we pulled in our Braintree configuration here. We're currently using the sandbox, obviously. And now what we want to do is just update our order controller. Now there's a couple of checks we need to do, or at least one main check we need to do, and that's that we have that payment uh, method nonce. So we need to check that we have that, otherwise we obviously won't be able to process a payment. So we can do that around about here. So what we do is create a little if statement here and just say that if from the request, grabbing the payment method nonce, which was, remember is automatically attached to our form with the drop in UI, then we want to redirect back or we can error or do whatever you want to do. But this should never be the case. It's only probably if the user is doing something that they shouldn't be. So we're just going to say redirect to path for order.index. We're just going to redirect them back. So that's if the uh, payment method nonce doesn't exist. Now that we've got that out of the way, down here, after we've actually created the order, we want to make the charge. So to do this, we create a variable called result, and we can actually refer to the documentation for this. So if you head over to the drop in payment UI documentation, and over here, just click transactions, you'll see that what we get is a example of how we actually make a sale. So in this case, what we do is we use Braintree transaction, we pass an array in with all of the options. So we've got amount, the payment method nonce, which we know we already have this, then we have some options and we're going to submit this for settlement. There are loads of other options. So check out the documentation if you have any specific needs and you can uh, switch this up depending on what you need to do. So let's go and add this in then. So we're going to say brain tree transaction sale. We're going to pass through the amount, which we know comes from our subtotal plus our shipping. So again, if you want to in include shipping into uh, this system, you can go ahead and do that. Now we want to pass in the payment method nonce, like so. And remember that this comes from request get param and it's payment underscore method underscore nonce. And then finally, we just want to pass in some options and we want to submit this through for settlement. So submit for settlement true and we're done. That will make a charge on Braintree, at least on the sandbox. So what we're going to do is kill the page here. I'm going to do a var dump on the result so we can see what we get back from this and what we can use. So let's go over to the page here, the order form, and let's just go and fill out these details just over here. And then let's go and enter our test card number our expiration date, CVV, and our postal code. So now we can click place order. And of course, what we didn't do is import the Braintree transaction class. So let's just do this at the top here and uh, we will be good to go like so. There we go. So let's refresh this and this will go through. And now we see a successful result back from Braintree. So we've got things like success true. We also have lots of other properties. So we have things like the uh, transaction ID, which we're eventually going to be storing in our database. But you can go ahead and dump this out and have a look through. Either way, we pretty much have everything here that we need. Uh, if we want to store it locally, we have lots of information about this. So let's now go over to our sandbox account and give this a refresh. And we should see a sale made today. So we have indeed, let's head over to transactions and go ahead and submit this search through. And there we go. So we've got that 6850 from our checkout. So that is pretty much it for actually capturing a charge on the back end using Braintree. Really straightforward to do. We have a little bit more to do here next because what we need to do is update our database to say that this payment has gone through. We need to store the transaction ID so we can refer back to it later and we're going to cover that in the next part. 
So thank you to Braintree Payments for supporting CodeCourse. Mobile app development can be complex, but with Braintree, integrating your payments doesn't have to be. With elegant code and clear documentation to help you out, your business can integrate nearly any type of payment from any device with just one really simple integration. Braintree's simple, flexible SDKs make your job and payments easier. Learn more at braintreepayments.com slash codecourse.